In Western countries, we spend typically 80% of our time inside buildings. So the design of buildings is critical to our quality of life. Glass is unique amongst building materials because of its ability to transmit daylight and sunlight and to provide a view to the outside world. Therefore, glass influences the interior quality of buildings in many more ways than does any other construction material. Uh, we all have a body clock built into us which needs to be recalibrated on a daily basis. And to do this we need to have access to daylight. And numerous studies have shown that when we are denied access to daylight uh, we suffer very serious consequences in terms of health and happiness and well-being and in the workplace in terms of productivity. And this has been shown in many studies, particularly in hospitals, where what the research shows is much shorter periods of uh, uh, stay uh, in hospitals for patients recovering from operations. It's much quicker, uh, much lower requirements for anaesthetics and, and other medication. And all this is attributable very directly to access to daylight and also views from buildings. The same has been shown to be true within educational establishments, within schools and universities, where student learning is directly affected by their access to daylight. Uh, and this has great implications in terms of mood, of calmness, of ability to learn. When we look at the broader benefits in terms of other building types, um, the research shows better performance in retail buildings, in shops, which are daylit, and the benefits extend into the office as well, where productivity within the workplace is directly linked to an ability to see out of windows and have access to daylight. At one time, windows would have been regarded as the weak point for energy loss through the building envelope. And this would have been the penalty for having a daylit building. But no longer. The incredible advances in glass making technology in the last quarter of a century have given architects a whole palette of products which can be net contributors of energy to buildings. It means architects now have freedom of design in the amount of glazing in the facades that were never previously possible. Getting daylight into buildings is a key element of sustainable building design. It not only saves energy, but it greatly enhances the health, happiness and well-being of the occupants.